Hello hungry fam and welcome to our channel. Today I'm going to test few deep fried dessert hacks from 5 minute crafts and see if they are real or fake. Before starting the video, like, share and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also click on the bell icon to get all the post notifications. For the first hack, in a blender, add 1 carrot, 1 fourth cup of brown sugar, 1 tablespoon oil, 1 egg and 1 fourth cup of milk. Blend it into smooth consistency. My mixture is not as orange as them, maybe because of the difference in the quality, but it's fine, we'll use it as it is. Then I'm going to add approximately half cup of flour. They haven't mentioned the measurements in any of the recipes, so I'm going to do all the experiments today. Finally, add the baking powder and mix until there are no lumps. Here's a quick hack to check if your oil is hot enough to fry. Just touch the back of the wooden spoon to the bottom of the pan. If you see some bubbles, then your oil is ready. If not, then let it heat for more 5 minutes and check again. Using a spoon, I'm going to drop the batter into the hot oil. It takes almost 10 to 15 minutes for these carrot treats to cook completely. But they look very cute and they have puffed up a bit. I'm going to sprinkle some powdered sugar. It is very crispy and airy but it looks slightly raw. Let's taste it. Okay, so I'm actually surprised. The taste is so good. It's like I'm eating a crispy and super moist carrot cake and it's not raw at all. I guess this is my favorite recipe so far. It is 100% a success. For the next recipe, I have an apple. I'm going to cut it into thick slices. This is very similar to one hack I did before, but here I'm going to deep fry it rather than shallow frying. Using a nozzle, I'm going to remove the core. And using a cookie cutter, I'm going to cut out the apple peel. For the big slice, I'm going to use a bigger nozzle and a small steel ki katori or a steel bowl to remove the peel. Here I have a pancake batter. Click on the i button to get the detailed recipe or you can check the description box. Dip the apple completely in the batter. And drop it very carefully in the hot oil. Repeat the same for the other slices and fry it till golden brown. I have drizzled some chocolate sauce over it. Let's taste it now. It definitely looks like cute mini donuts. The taste is also nice. Actually, the taste depends on your batter. The apples are very moist from the inside. And yeah, this was a successful hack. For making fried watermelon, add 1 fourth cup of water, 1 fourth cup of cornstarch, mix it all together and add 1 fourth cup of egg whites. Whisk it nicely. Here 
Here I have a slice of watermelon. Using a flour cookie cutter, I'm cutting a cute little shape just like they did. You can cut it into any shape you like. First, coat the watermelon completely with the flour. Here I'm using maida. And dip it into the slurry we made. Fry it till it's golden brown. It's been almost 15 minutes but it's not getting golden brown so I'm just going to take it out. Let's cut and see how it looks from the inside. Obviously the watermelon has become very soggy. Even the covering has become soggy. But let's taste it first. And um, I don't like the taste at all. It tastes like the watermelon has gone bad. So for this, I double coated the watermelon and that looks even more soggy. I'm sorry, but I really didn't like it at all. So for me, this hack was busted. For the next hack, I have a microwave rack and a banana. I'm going to peel only one side and push it through the rack. So the banana is getting sliced very easily. Since my rack was a bit wide, I had to slice the bananas a bit thin. Also, I'm going to make the batter separately because I don't want the bananas to get mushy. Add 1 tablespoon milk, 1 fourth cup flour, 1 teaspoon cinnamon powder and 1 fourth teaspoon turmeric powder. Mix it. The consistency looks a bit thin so I'm going to add more flour. Mix it again. And once you're happy with the consistency, add the bananas. Coat them completely. And drop it very carefully into the hot oil. They shallow fried the bananas but here I already had a deep fryer ready. So I'm going to deep fry them. Fry them till they are nice and golden brown. Now I'm going to drizzle some honey. And let's give it a taste. Again the taste is really good. If the bananas you're using is sweet, then this will turn out very nice. It is a bit more oily than the rest and that is my mistake because I deep fried it rather than shallow frying. But yeah, this hack was successful. For the final dessert, I'm going to add half cup of soy milk and half cup of powdered milk. Whisk until there are no lumps and transfer it into any silicone mold you have. You can check the description box for all the product links which I use. Freeze it for at least 4 hours. This is how the freeze milk is looking. It comes out quite easily. I'm using the same pancake batter which I used earlier. Drop these cute little hearts in the batter. And coat it nicely. Drop it into the hot oil. 
and in few minutes you can see the milk has dissolved completely and it has ruined the oil I'm going to drop one more and now you can clearly see how the milk is melting and what is left is the pancake batter so to be sure if the recipe works or not i clean the oil and again i'm going to drop one milk heart and you can only see the pancake cover floating i tried many times but it is just not working out maybe they used a different batter but for me this hack was a big fail Today's shout out goes to Ashi Arora and Soumya Rahate. Thank you for all the love. If you want a shout out in our video, then all you have to do is subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram and comment on this video telling me that you have. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more amazing videos.